Hello people of the internet, it is Adam Malik Aaron Aaron. We're back on the Xbox 360 with a special game, if you will. You're about to find out. Well, there's your first clue. There's your second clue. There's your third clue. Well, that's not much of a clue. Yes! We are doing Sonic 06. I gotta do my memory. Yes, we're doing this masterpiece. Technically, I already did a video on this, but, um, like that video was kind of, it was, that video was more or less an experiment on if it would work. And it did, but it was kind of really bad looking, and I wanted to redo it and do a real gameplay video, like the ones I typically do, so. Yeah. Sonic 06. What can I say about this game? It has everything great action, uh, glitches, some of the most hilariously bad story you will ever see. All the memes. The take this! It's no use! I see it! From our boy Silver. Oh, look at this theater room. You got all the cutscenes. It's got all Sonic cutscenes. Gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> and then you got Shadow, and then you got Silver. He's the English trigger! Oh, Silver, he's so underrated, it's hilarious. He makes the game, like, as well known as it is. Let's go to single player. So this game, you have an episode. If you do, I already completed Sonic, Shadow, so I haven't completed the last episode because that is way too hard. It's unbelievable. They go like trial select, you can just choose which Stage you play, and then there's gold medal results. This list shows you all the gold medals I won. Not too many, but at least I said, hey, I got one. At least one major one. I got 45. But that's for this wait. That's just for Sonic. Shadow, so Oh, that's for all of mine. Okay. You know what? If you know this game, you know the plot. The complicated plot, so. See, what this game does is try to make Sonic more realistic by having realistic humans and a realistic Eggman. But Sonic and his friends are still super cartoony, so it doesn't work. So, the plot is, you got this Princess Elise. Um, she holds in herself like the flames of Iblis. And in order to unleash it, all she has to do is cry. Yeah, it's, it's really dumb. So Sonic, well she's about to get um, kidnapped by Eggman, the first of what was a thousand times. So Sonic helped her and whatnot, and had a relationship with her that is one of the most disturbing things in video game history. And we haven't even gotten to the worst part in the game yet, where she actually kisses Sonic, that infamous moment. With Shadow, he's a part of Gun, you know. That group that kind of betrayed him. I don't know why he would join them again, but whatever. So yeah, he joins up with you know Rouge and uh, Gamma. I think it's Gamma. I might be Gamma. I don't know. Yeah, and um, oh, yeah, he has to deal with that. And then of course Silver's from the future. Him and Blaze, they time travel in order to stop. Disaster by killing Sonic, who is the, the Iblis trigger. So he tries to stop them, but then he realizes I made a huge mistake. And so he's all three eventually, you know, you know, interact with each other throughout the game. And it's it involves a lot of time travel and stupidness and kidnapping and horrible romance. It is one of the most confusing stories of all time. It's so convoluted that it becomes a comedy. But now we got the last episode. We might as well just do this and just 
software. And of course these loading screens are very infamous for being super long. Mine are not as long as others. See? So there's Mephilus, who basically looks like... He wanted his form to look like Shadow. I think this is where Elise or Sonic dies. I, no, this is where Sonic dies. And then Elise is like, no! It's hilarious. So yeah, I think that's where we are in the story. Now we got a low weight. Oh yeah, this is where he dies. Uh oh. Oh. There's our boy Mephilus. Gone! Killed Sonic! He's dead. <laughs> oh. Come on, Sonic. It doesn't even look like nothing even went through you. You gotta sell that death. See, nothing even went through. At least have a hole. Sonic. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. Here it comes. Yes, yes. Don't cry. No matter what happens. Oh. No. No. <laughs> cried and then <laughs> there comes the flames. The seal is broken. At long last I'll be able to join with you. The Iblis. Now chaos out. It's time for the final trivet call. Yeah, that was a pretty great part. There are other great parts in the story that are absolutely hysterical. Uh oh. This is no good. Oh yeah, this is after like Shadow just uses his little break. He takes off his his, his little ring bracelets. And they're used to like control his power. Uh oh. Oh! Top with some CGI cutscenes. And you gotta admit, like these CGI cutscenes are really impressive, especially for 2006. They are really good. Wow. Things have escalated. a lot. Loading screen time. He was a Sonic Force, even though it makes, it makes zero it's sense. All 
It seems we were all caused by the spatial distortion. See, there's realistic Eggman. He's dead, pal. Just say he's dead. It's not hard. I don't know this is supposed to be an emotional moment, but it just, it's... Mm. <laughs> uh. His plan all along was to cause the princess to be so consumed with despair that she cried. You can see Eggman's eyes. It's really weird. So that's why you wanted me to kill Sonic before. Uh oh. It's happening now. Surprise! This creature will consume all existing timelines, and time itself will collapse and disappear into nothingness. Well, that's no good. The instability of time this time space rift it won't remain for much longer we've no time to waste we've got to defeat it now no it is a transcendent life form that exists in the past present and future defeating it here now would do nothing no i won't give up there has to be a way If you say it exists in the past, present, and future, I'll destroy them all at once! Sorry. It might have been possible if he was still alive. Chaos Emeralds can basically do anything at this point. You can do it, princess. What's she gonna do? She's been kidnapped the whole game. Literally every level of Sonic, she gets kidnapped. Knuckles is so happy. Solaris flung the Chaos Emeralds to the distant corners of this distorted world. To collect the wrong in time, we'll have to split up. Look, Amy, I know you want I know you wanna save Sonic, but it's not extremely useful in these situations. If you weren't that if you weren't super like if you weren't like super um you you know useful in Sonic Adventure, I don't think you're gonna be super super useful in this game either. So this is the end of the world. So you got basically gotta be every single character, you know and get the Chaos Emeralds. But it is hard. It's incredibly hard. I haven't tried this. I tried this a couple times. I just completely gave up on it because it is the worst thing ever. And you thought the rest of the game was hard. Oh no. So first we're tank. You gotta avoid black holes. Because if you don't, you will die. And that's no good.
So basically, you need a race. Uh oh. That's no, I thought the glitch would save me. <laughs> oh. Oh, see those black holes. Once you're sucked into it, you're dead. So you gotta escape them at all costs. Okay, right here. If you touch this block, you can slow the time space rift just so it is. Use it wisely and collect the chaos and move the more time space system. Well, of all Sonic games, if you get like a hundred brains, you can uh, give our lives. And that's what I'm trying to do, but considering this is Sonic 06, that's a little hard. You have to escape! Don't go near those. It's bad. Run, 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 run! They're everywhere! I think, that, oh my gosh, the light! This is at the point where they're just everywhere and it's just nearly impossible. There it is! Oh, come on! It's right there. Okay, we did Tails. Now next, I think next is Knuckles or something. It's Tails, then I think it's Knuckles. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Knuckles. Or Gamma. I think. I think, I'm not sure. We gotta wait. Oh, it is Gamma. Gamma is a little harder. Oh no. So the best thing to do is just rush through everything because that's the only way you're gonna get through. Or else you will die. Oh no. No 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 no! One up right there. Oh, but I died anyway. That was that was pointless. He's gonna shoot all these guys, which is useful. Oh, oh! I got to escape. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my gosh! Oh no, no, no! Right. I think I should have gotten uh, some rings first. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. No, no, oh, on. You see how difficult this is? It's awful. There's only a second part too, so it only gets worse. If I don't beat this, which is very likely, I'm probably just going to... So this part, you have to beat all the enemies in the area. Oh gosh, oh no, no, and I'm dead. Oh. Okay, no, one more life. I might die. I know, I just know, I've accepted my fate that in this game I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna go through the rest of them. Because 
You see how hard this game is. Well, it doesn't help because all the glitches in the game, how they didn't complete it. Okay, we just gotta go through this, right? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It hit. Now it's a slow time. Oh, I missed it. I really should get another level. Oh, uh oh. I think it's too late now. Oh, no, no. Jump, Omega. Oh, my gosh. I'm dead. What? Believe it or not, it only gets worse. I think after this, you do Knuckles, then Rouge, then Amy, and then Silver, then Shine, then I think. Let's just... Let's just choose an act trial. That way you can see. So you got Sonic, Shadow, Silver. Those are your main... Well, at least your main, main characters. You can also play as the others. And like little segments. So what should, which one should we do? Let's do Wave Ocean. That's the first level. We might as well do the first level of the game. So we're just gonna probably do this and then I'll be it. Ah, oh, these loading screens. Gosh. If you didn't know Sega, like they rushed this game to for a holiday season, like holiday 2006. And I understand, like, when games are released on the holiday, they make more money, but sometimes sometimes it's better to have have a quality game than to have an unfinished game. Well, this game was relatively successful. Sold a, a few minute, a few million copies, which is pretty good. Uh, it it just was it was bad, bad decision. Ah, look at this! Isn't this wonderful? This is basically saying, screw gravity. I literally, uh, this should be the thumbnail. It just said, screw gravity. This is what the game is really all about. This, right here. Look at it. Yes. Wasn't that amazing? And it just went back to going fast. And here I go. Most of the time, you don't even have to do anything. Like, you just, it just goes along, and you don't do much. Like that. See? I, I did absolutely nothing. I'm not even doing anything. Like, all that time, I did, I, I didn't, oh, 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 no. Oh, there I go! <laughs> At least I got a one-up out of it. So that was nice. So once you hit the wall, you just jump. Well, I gotta give this game credit for having some pretty decent stage design ideas. The actual execution can be very hit or miss. This game is just filled with decent ideas, but unfortunately, they clearly needed more time. See, I don't like that. It just stops. Like, your momentum just completely dies. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. There's another one up. Look at that! That was talent right there. We gotta wait for this to go up. And then... Boom, boom, boom. Run. That's how most of this game functions. 
There's Whale. This is where it becomes a little too glitchy. Oh, there we go. Oh no, we got the tails. Oh no. Oh no. We already just played his tails and he could be a bit problematic. This doesn't help. So you can fly. Somewhere. Another one up. So you can throw like dummy bombs, like a ring dummy bomb, and just throw at people. But when you throw it, sometimes the camera is real bad. This camera is very notorious for being, let's just say, not being very helpful. The camera just kind of, kind of just wants to leave the dimension. See, like it works like that, but look at that! Like I don't understand why it does that. I really don't. I forgot where to go. Oh, I'm the flare. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Take that game! I just beat you at your own game. I like that. One of the good things about these glitches is that you can beat, you can really beat the game with the glitches. You can The glitches can both help you and hurt you. So it's nice when it does help. Like in this situation. I forgot where to go from here. Gotta get rain. Oh, I thought I missed. Okay. There should be a lever. Another one up. Lit. I gotta find another. Might be here, I think. Oh wait, this isn't it. What's this even for? Oh well. Oh, the lever's up there, I remember. Here it is. There it is. Just gotta fly. Um, uh, game, you okay? This is no good. <laughs> oh man, that was bad. Dang, there I go! Oh, all oh, these glitches are fantastic. Run the whale again. Alright, so now we gotta go back to the gate switch. We're probably just gonna have to avoid all the enemies, just to, you know, not waste time. And yeah, in this game, you can literally just run past enemies. No problem. You just run past them. And the game doesn't even punish you for it. It's great. Can I make it? Yeah! Skip that whole section! 
Oh, oh, it's all the cell phones. Okay. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be there in a sec. Just gotta. Okay. Time to just jump. Run. Oh no! As long as you get range, you're good. There we go. See how see how fast it took. It didn't take long at all. Gotta wait for the whale to come. Okay. So now we close the gate. So the whale doesn't get out. The next section, of course. This video is probably gonna go a little longer than expected, but that's what this game does. The cutscenes are long, the loading screens are long, and the levels are long. The whole game is long. Unless you skip parts like I did. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the infamous speed runs where you literally gotta run so fast that you do that. You have zero control. But as long as you get rings, you're good. This is one of the glitchiest parts of the entire game, which is saying a lot. Okay. Trust me, because you barely have any control. Once you hit things, you just fly all over the place, like that, and there I go! Just gotta avoid hitting anything, which is pretty impossible if you've played this game. Oh, <laughs> I think we need to slow down Sonic if we're gonna really win this. But of course, of course, Sonic's all like, gotta go fast. And that's what we're doing, and it's causing a whole bunch of glitches, which are no good. I'm not sure where this ends. I think this ends soon. Enemies coming our way. Yeah, make sure you don't hit anything. Like I am. Because it's bad, of course. Or don't miss! Like that! Uh. Oh, well. Oh, well! I have a feeling. Which is no good. Uh, going this way, going this way. Oh my gosh, this is stressful. Go. Oh, I don't know why Sonic's all surprised. Their enemies coming after him. I mean, come on now, you're the hero. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's please slow down because this is not working. I mean, it works sometimes. Like when there's nothing around you, it's fine. But, oh, oh, oh. Look at that dance! Oh no. Okay. Crow. Got one. It's better to have one than zero. Yeah, this game, it is crucial you have rings. Even if you have one ring, it's better to have one ring than zero because you are gonna die. If you don't, you're gonna die. You're gonna die a lot. This game is truly unforgiving. Oh, it was really good. Well, that's it. Oh, I think that's all you needed to see to understand how the game works. Alright. So, yeah, that was Sonic 06.
make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time, and I am out.